Bart Allen here chatting with the masterminds behind Good Burger 2. The masterminds, welcome like to Good it. Burger. Like and this is exciting. I'm excited. My nine-year-old is excited. Uh, a Good Burger for his generation and for mine. Kevin, Keith, and Phil, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you for calling here. me a mastermind. Yeah, I'd like, well, I'd, it's true. Yeah, I like that. Visionary or mastermind, either go with either. But I, it's very yeah, visionary mastermind. Yeah, very nice. Of you. Okay, so here we go. This is exciting. Another chapter in the Good Burger universe. Kevin, we'll start with you. How do you even go about coming up with the idea to go at this again, especially when the '90s, the original, was such a pop culture such a cult classic this one is equally amazing by the way so like where do you even start where do the ideas begin to well, try and come back to the well for this uh show honestly i think we never looked at that as the ending we always kept thinking about it we're always talking you know i'm with heath all the time we've worked on 20 shows since then and, yeah. and we're constantly saying wouldn't that be funny in a good burger oh boy would ed say this and that and we're just constantly talking about it and we thought okay what kind of story would be relevant to tell today how did we advance this and so we added you know let's see there's changes in technology there's changes in a b and c so we put that all in there and pitched it and here we are <laughs> I love it. Yes. I love the addition of technology. And you've got these two guys who are seemingly into what's happening now, but yet somehow stuck in that world. And I mean, there was the challenges of technology in the first one, you know, the competitiveness sure. of the yes. burger joint across the street. Uh, but now there's all of this. Such a great story. Heath, this question is for you. I, I, I would have to say, you guys, I mean, you all have worked together on so many different things, yeah. but for you specifically, when it comes to storytelling uh, and a story like this, what is maybe one or two elements that are important to you that are almost like non-negotiables in a way uh, to really commit your time to something like this? Oh, well, that's interesting. I, I think, um, I mean, for us, we always loved the Good Burger property. And so it was always something we've been very passionate about. So convincing me to want to do another good burger <laughs> was not much of a challenge by any stretch it's something we've always wanted to do um, i think it was important to find a story that felt worthy of making a film about yeah. instead of just trying to string together a bunch of sketches or just a bunch of you know here's just a funny bit that's a reference to the old film or let's just remake it uh in some sense that we wanted to take it to uh, a bigger place i said earlier build we wanted to build a better burger uh, that was very important to us. Um, and with that said, though, I wanted to make sure that we were satisfying fans of the original. That we didn't want to let them down, uh, which meant not copying the original per se, but you know, perhaps finding fun Easter eggs or cameos uh, that we could layer in throughout the entire film that would uh, scratch that itch for those people. Yes, I think that's probably one of many things that I love about this. Having seen the original one in the 90s and now having a nine-year-old, him being exposed to it, it's on repeat constantly in our house. Nice. And uh, when he found out, yes, um, so there's that. But then now there's this that we've had the opportunity to enjoy together now. He absolutely loves it. Um, Phil, for you, again, so many great things that you've done. Really, for you as a storyteller, the same question would be, like, what's important to you? What What is uh, something that you have to have? Uh, what's an element of storytelling for you that's a big deal and important? Uh, well, I have three kids as well. And so I just, I've always, I wanted to make films that I want to watch with them, that, that are just happy things to watch, like happy, fun, optimistic, positive, all those things. So, um, so that's about, that's what I was really wanting to do with this film. Like just just have it constantly creative and fun. And did you watch well, your did you, did you watch it with your son? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, new, the new the new the new film. The new one we have not watched together yet. The original we've watched several times. The new one, obviously, we've not been able to. Uh, I watched it because of the interview, clearly. Yeah, but yeah. 
He gets to watch it when the rest of the world gets to watch it. Oh, you couldn't it. sneak him in? Uh, you couldn't sneak well, him in? Well, I could have, but I don't know. That's kind of a gray area with the embargo, but I digress. Well, I hope he enjoys it as much because the, the, yeah. the idea is that something that you can watch and enjoy and then that he can really watch and enjoy too. And hopefully that he'll want to watch at sleepovers and parties for the next however many years. Yeah, he's been talking right. about it nonstop since it's been a oh. thing. So. Oh, great. Well, I hope he enjoys it. <laughs> you do. That's I will, great. I think I'm really he will. sorry. One of the two. I mean. Okay. Well, thank you all for your time. Congratulations. It's been an honor. And we'll see you next time. You all have done such great projects. And oh. this is definitely another uh, moniker for sure. Thank you thank so much. You. Oh, thank, thank you. Great talking to you. Yeah. Bye. You too. Take care, everybody. Bye now. Get easy.